Well, that was fun. So now what I need to do is switch gears and have you learn a thing or two, if you can't remember, about complementary colors. Now, complementary colors don't have a whole group. There's just two. It is the two that are opposite each other on the color wheel. So purple and yellow are BFFs. They are complementary colors. And when you put them next to each other, they are fantastic. So purple and yellow are complementary, but so would be these combination of colors. Orange and blue are across each other from the color wheel. When you put them next to each other, they can just make your eyes dance. If we look here at red and green, they are across from each other on the color wheel. They are a very powerful combination. But so is red, violet, and yellow, green. Those two are also complementary. When we look at, let's see, this kind of blue-green color and red-orange, that's a very powerful combination. So all of these are pretty amazing colors that come in pairs. It's almost like their boyfriend, girlfriend, y'all. Now, if you look at artwork that has complementary colors, these are some of the more famous pieces of artwork that feature certain complementary colors. This one in particular is The Scream, and this was a painting by Edvard Munch, and this is actually a painting of a feeling. And so I don't know if any of you have ever felt like what this looks like, but if you have, we can talk later. We can hold hands and I can comfort you. But anyway, that these are all paintings featuring orange and blue. These are some paintings that feature the complementary colors of green and red. If you look right here, that combination here is going to draw your eye in. Right here, you're going to notice those two colors together. And lastly, purple and yellow. A lot of you guys really enjoyed looking at some of the emphasis tricks last week. You'll notice that if this is the baby Jesus, we have a lot of things that are pointing in the direction of us wanting uh, to look at Jesus. But we also have um, this dress here by Aunt Mary that features two complementary colors. That's a way to make our eyes say, ooh, that's interesting. And also that she's in the light. By Picasso here, he used purple and yellow. And here we have another painting by Claude Monet, The Water Lilies, where he features purple and yellow. Now, the crazy thing about complementary colors is that even though they look fantastic next to each other, if you actually take paint and mix them together, you are going to end up with what's called a neutral. It's, it's kind of your um, kind of blush colors, like browns and khakis and grays. And the thing about neutral colors is that as much as they may not be like your favorite color, like I don't think there's anyone who said, my favorite color is khaki. My favorite color is kind of a light brown. Even though these colors may not necessarily be people's favorites, they're awesome because they go with everything. I mean, look at your shorts right now. Look at what you're wearing. You are wearing a neutral color because all over America and even all the way into Europe, kids who are wearing khaki pants, you can put any color along with it and it's going to match. A neutral just goes together with a lot of different things, a lot of different colors. But some people really enjoy using those neutral colors to create artwork. And I'll show you some examples of that in a minute. Now, before we go, I want to just remind you again of our complementary colors, and I'm going to show you a little video pretending that maybe these complementary colors are friends.